what's up? I'll be focusing on these two at the moment because these two are the ones with the new engine, the M139 hand assembled. Um, that one is not la, sorry. <laughs> So both of this is a 421 horsepower, which has increased of 40 horsepower from the previous one, 500 newton meters of torque, which is an increase of 25, um, 0 to 100 in 3.9 seconds, 4 seconds, just 0 0.1 more, top speed of 270 kmh, 8 speed dual clutch trans transmission, 8 speed dual clutch transmission, and both of it is a 2 liter four cylinder turbo charge. So I'm gonna be focusing on the A45S for now. Again, I'm loving the colors. I feel it's very patriotic. Um, I think it's a very good time to have all these colors because now we're like, wow, Malaysia can't wait for CMCO to end so that we can go driving, you know? So yeah, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so this is the new engine, the M139 engine. It is positioned in reverse. Therefore, the air intake is actually in front and the turbocharger and the exhaust manifold is at the back. This is to improve aerodynamics, optimize airflow. Um, yeah, so that's all the technical bits that you'll hear from me. I'm learning math. I think not bad, right? Yeah, at least I show you the engine. I know a lot of you are like, dang, to show the engine. Okay, I got you, I got you. Um, Again, I love the yellow. I've been wanting to paint my car yellow for quite a while now. Now there are so many yellows, I don't know if I want to continue painting my car yellow or not. Anyway, we have the big grill in the front. The A45 and the CL845 share the same grill. The faces in front are more or less the same. Um, however, the headlights, as you can see, is a little bit different. Maybe just this one has the casing in front. That one doesn't have the casing in front and this one doesn't have the night package whereas this one has the night package. I personally prefer the night package with the black on the side right there. This is a 19 inch um, 5 double spoke alloy rims. I think it goes very well. And then you have your decal right here. Of course it's 4MATIC meaning that it's a uh, all wheel drive. I'm going to the back here, A45. Does it automatically open? It doesn't. Wow, very heavy leh. Oh, wow, this one really looks like dead body. But I gotta say, it's quite a big boot. I really, I don't know whether it's an actual body, it's quite scary. Okay. Okay, so. Two bodies can fit inside here. This is the space of the A45, A45 F formatic. <laughs> okay, getting out. What's inside the boot? Let's see. What's inside the boot? Is it pretty dark? No, oh, it's pretty alright. There's a protective layer right here. You open it. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff at the bottom there. No spare tire. Anyone? It's quite heavy. Um, doesn't look like it has a spare tire. Nope, doesn't look like it has a spare tire at the bottom there. Uh, because uh, it doesn't open automatically. Close it. There's the spoiler at the back. Looks very much like the A class, obviously. I really feel like the design is growing on me. I'm kind of liking it more when I see it. And then there's of course the rear diffuser. Let me see, I, I, I'm like trying to get a view from here, how it looks like, whether it fits. I think it's okay, I think it's not too much. It looks aggressive enough right there. Quad exhaust pipe, let me see real or not. Um, I'll let you guys do the judge of it, okay? All right, let's see. Chrome door handles and uh, all right, let's take a look inside all right guys so i am currently on the inside and it has bucket seats um this is all leather i love that the styling hang on let me just on the lights so that it's not so dark i hope this is better panoramic roof yes a a do i have to start i think i'll start okay so panoramic roof that's good um, yeah, so you have your AMG bucket seats. This is following the body color of the car. Again, I love the attention to detail. Sitting inside, you actually feel pretty low, but I have a feeling you can actually go higher. 
I always forget. I always forget Mercedes put it here, so. Yeah, I can go higher. Higher. I can go pretty high. Lower. Lower. Alright, so there's an option for you to set as low as you want or as high as you want. Looking at the interior, this is a steering wheel, flat bottom. Good for people with big legs, big thighs. Um, love the dip inside here. I actually pretty like the styling inside here. This looks a bit alienish to me. This one actually feels a bit too much. Maybe if they didn't put it in chrome. But I get the whole styling, I get the whole continuity with this as well. These are like piano buttons. Again, the first time I saw this type of buttons, it's in the 3008. This is your center console. Ooh, Type C. Yes, Type C. What's this? 12 volt socket. Oh, you can for more grip. <laughs> okay, this is your touchpad. This is. Oh, this is for your armrest. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is nice. Oh, the feel. Oh, oh. oh, what's happening? The feel of this is actually very nice as well. Opening this. There are two type C ports inside here. This is how deep my hand can go. It's not to say very shallow and not too small as well. Closing it. I appreciate that you can actually close one so I can just do this and my passenger can put stuff in if he or she wants to. Yeah, I actually pretty like how the dash looks. I'm actually getting the feeling that it is directed to the driver in a way. Looking from here, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is looking at how this is designed. It actually slopes in a little bit and it's very subtle. It's not very obvious that it's directed to the driver a whole lot. So I think... They did it very nicely. Um, oh, you have your buttons here. Oh, I think this is something new. I haven't seen this in... I didn't see this in the A200. Um, yeah, so you have your buttons here, your armrest right here. You have places to put stuff. Hmm. I'm actually pretty impressed with the build quality. Feels like they have improved it. <laughs> Not to say the previous one is very bad, okay? It feels actually much better. Awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna start the car because I'm allowed to start the car. Engine start stop. You have your LED lights there. Very quiet. Ooh, okay, this is definitely something new. AMG Dynamics, so I can... Can I choose? So I can choose the advanced pro basic right here and I can change my springs also. Comfort, sport, sport plus. Is this touch screen? Yes, it's touch screen as well. At the same time, I can use the touchpad right here. Awesome. And this, so this is... Oh, okay. So this is to choose what driving mode I want to be in. So I want to race, sport plus, sport, comfort. Ooh, okay, so this is pretty nice. It's kind of like a screen right here. Can I, can I, well, let's say I do this. What happens when I do spot? It goes back to, why is it that when I do this, individual, comfort, can I press? So when I press it, automatically goes back to individual even though I go to Sport. So how do I select? Do I just leave it at Sport Plus? Then it automatically goes to Sport Plus? Yep, that's how you do it. Then it's at Sports Plus already. So this is the Mesa Cluster. I love the options whereby you can either use the touchpad or you can do, or you can touch your screen itself or you can actually use this. Now I forgot what this is called, but every time I see this, it always reminds me of the Blackberry. The first time that I used this was on a Blackberry, so yeah, reminiscence. But I love that you have all these options because sometimes you don't really want to use this so you can use this. If not, then you can use this as well. This one didn't really change the same. It's very easy to use as well. So you just go home. Ooh, so yeah, basically there are a lot of things that you can do with the display right here. There are just two individual screens. So you actually have a divider here. And I think it's very smart because they put the divider where you can't really see it so it's where your steering wheel is blocking it so you actually don't feel that there's a big gap here and i think they did it brilliantly 
um, you don't really feel like eh why here so big one you don't really feel the bezel here is very big you just feel like it's a nice frame for the touchscreen and uh, yeah all right let's head to the back shall we sorry i can't really wrap 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 because i don't dare 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 and uh all these little touches i like that this actually lights up when you open the door so how it feels sitting inside here it's a little bit upright um short distances i would say it's okay but long distances then it would be a little bit tough a little bit tiring my leg room of course is okay for me but i'm not a bit dark huh? but of course i think it's a little bit too short for people like corn bobby who is who has longer legs lah, basically you have your cup holders is there any usb port or type c ports at the back here let's see yeah two types oh nice there's like mini rubbish bin um two type c ports here and a very simple layout as well have your armrest not too much going on here i think it i think that's good you don't really need to have a lot going on and i think um besides the aircon vents right i think the composition and how it is designed it isn't very overwhelming whereby there's too much of chrome or too much of black or too much of yellow i think it's a good mix and it looks very stylish i must say it's a very nice interior to be in um okay let's see whether yep you can see this and how low can it go it can go pretty low not all the way but pretty low and can you put all of it down Yes, you can. Ta-da! Yep, you can put all three Cs down. All right, you also have isofix mounts here. Can you see? Sorry, you have isofix mounts here. And at the back, you don't really see the yellow popping out so much as compared to the front. But I think that's okay. Very subtle. It's knowing Mercedes, I expected them to be louder. So more yellow accents inside. But no, I think it's a very good combination. Very nice. And uh, yeah, time to go to the CLA. All right guys, so I guess a lot of you are wondering why the price of the AMG A45S Formatic is more expensive than the CLA 45S Coupe. And uh, if you notice, this one has addition one on it and this one doesn't. So let me walk you through the differences. Now, the reason, like the main reasons why this one is higher in price as compared to this one is because of their arrow package which is the front splitter as well and uh, these this and this the rear diffuser as well so if i compare you can tell the diffuser here is different from this one like this one has a diffuser as well but i guess this one adds the aerodynamics of the car not forgetting the 19 inch five twin spoke alloy rims as well and the decal of course as you can see and the side skirt thing here yeah so all these little differences the black parts especially that's night package the aero package similar to this one a35 if you go inside fully electric seats right here and uh, can i okay stop no don't stop all right and this is also additional for the edition one this is special you don't get it on the cla so these are the differences that you get for the edition one and hence why it is a little pricier now let's head on to the cla all right guys now heading to the cla um so yeah sometimes this happens whereby we have very short amount of time and all of us have to do videos so it's fine that i go into this video he's very very nice go check him out i'll link him here he's very very nice cla same engine as the amg a45 um, I'll pop the hood later to let you have a look. This is the front. Again, similar, but because that one is an addition one, it has a little bit more aerodynamics to it. This is a more normal front, as you can see. The lights are also a little bit different because this one was launched later. That one is a little bit older. So, I don't know, when I first saw this, maybe it's the red. I was like, wow, it looks a lot like Bobby's Audi. <laughs> it could be me, la. I don't know. But yeah. Okay, let's go to the side. So this is a cross spoke forged wheels. Um, this comes in 19 inch as well. 
Um, as I mentioned just now, on the side here you can see all these bits of chrome, so that's the normal one. Chrome, chrome at the bottom there. Side skirting a little bit, it's all red instead of black. Going to the back, again you have the CLA similarities, rear diffuser, quad exhaust pipes, real or not. I'll let you guys decide, okay. Yeah, you have your kind of mini spoiler here as well. And uh, just going inside to take a look. Ooh! This frameless, frameless doors, very nice. Uh, uh, okay, wow, this actually feels more comfortable than that one. Performance seats more or less the same as the A45 right there. Everything is more or less the same. Everything is the same. Yep, it's the same. Only the difference that I really appreciate is the seat belt. Now, the seat belts, right, I remember. Okay, this one doesn't hug you, but maybe because the car is not on. So I'm going to try turning it on. Now that he has stopped the video, I'm going to go to the driver's side. I have the keys. Unlock like that, a touch of the door handle. This looks very center of this, which is good for those who are very OCD, you know. And the interior feels very much like the A45. Exactly the same. You have your heat warmer at the you have your heat warmer here also because sometimes Malaysia can get very cool. Like once in 10 years or 20. Or even 30. Let me try and start. Let's see how it sounds. So I'm gonna... So that's the startup sound. Obviously not as... Obviously it's not as aggressive as or sporty as we all want it to be. Oh look at the ambient lighting. It's coming out right here. And when I... Yes, it hugs me. I like the fact that it does this. I can't really rub it here. I don't dare to rub it here. Oh, this is a nice touch. There's ambient lighting in the aircon as well. Very nice. Yeah, I gotta say, the interior looks very, very beautiful. Now, okay, I'm just gonna turn it off here. Ooh, I hear the Damn. Okay, I'm just gonna pop the hood for you guys to see again. Because there's something that I missed out earlier. Yeah, so as we know, this is mounted in reverse and uh, as I've mentioned the air intake is here while the exhaust manifold and the turbocharger is at the back and for this for the CLA45 and A45 all of it is hand assembled so you can see handcrafted by and the person who did it will actually sign your name right here so going to the back right now I really love these frameless doors all right I'm currently at the back um, you have your panoramic roof here as well. Angle feels very much like the A45 as well. Um, I also can see on the middle person doesn't get red seat belts, but the sides you get red seat belts as well. Uh, gotta say, a lot of similarities. Honestly, inside is exactly the same as the A45. It's just the outside and the styling on the outside that's different. And for the CLA, you cannot drop the seats. So you cannot access the boot from inside. So that's something different. Opening the boot. I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> Again, it's not powered. It's no powered tailgate. You have your floor mat here as well. I feel you don't really need this. La. I don't know how many of you actually need this inside. Open all the electronics behind. Let's see when I get in. It's a very big dip as you can see so. all right of course it's wider right yeah okay this is how I get it your feet your feet okay yeah so that's the boot it's not powered. How do I? I cannot actually grab anything right here. Oh, but it's actually pretty light. So I can just. Don't need to slam it. 
it's pretty all right main differences is the exterior and the packages that it has all right guys last but not least we're talking about the amg a35 formatic edition one this is 306 horsepower with 400 newton meters of torque 0 to 100 in 4.7 seconds 7 speed dct 2.0 liter four cylinder turbo charge now this one is not hand assembled because this is supposed to be a little bit more mass produced let's take a walk around so at the front the grill here is different from the a45 radiator grill with twin low grills let me know if i'm pronouncing it right i'm obviously not and this one has the addition one because it has the night package and arrow package as i've mentioned this the night package is basically all this front spitter all this sides here as well um, you have this this side skirt wing right here as well and your rear diffuser and this so all of this is part of the addition one which is the night package and aero package and of course the decal at the side here this is actually called the matte tech go just you know fun facts this is your multi-spoke rims that's about it so let me just pop the hood I think this one is locked so let me just pop the hood thank you let me just pop the hood for you to see all right guys apologies as i cannot open this um the key is somewhere we're still trying to find it so i'm just gonna you know the interior again it looks very similar yeah the interior is the same i can't really see any details from here but it looks the same as all other interiors it's just the exterior that is different and of course the engine so yeah this is all of it guys i really hope you enjoyed it i'm sorry if it's a little bit messy because i'm like all over the place a little bit trying to cramp all in one but yeah there you go